Stars, and uh, I live on Fruitvale Road, which is uh, part of Newport, though it's not in Newport. I have no um, real knowledge about the chemicals and the emissions, so I can't speak about that. But what I can say is that uh, there's something known as a precautionary principle, which is applied in places like, uh, like Europe uh, and in many countries, where it's expected that um, any kind of process using uh, chemicals that uh, could be dangerous has to be proven safe before it is before it gets permission to be used. Now, in this country, we use the products and then we wait to see if people get sick. And if a few people get sick, we don't do much. And if more get sick, we get a little worried maybe, but still don't do much. And it's only when it's like a sickness of just huge proportions that government steps in to put in limits. So in other words, uh, it's customary to use the people as guinea pigs here. Exactly. I belong to a group that is linked to county community rights, and we have been uh, fighting that and trying to make people aware of that so that they realize that they do not have to consent to that. Uh, there is also the principle of, I mean, here GP and most companies in this country monitor themselves, and it's uh, because they have been given permission by our government to do that. Um, most of the results of monitoring that companies, whether it's GP or any other company that they do themselves, is going to are going to come out favorable to the com to the company. So they don't help to protect the public safety, which is one of the most fundamental responsibilities of government, and government is not fulfilling that now. Uh, testing should be done by independent laboratories that are, you know, have no ties to <coughs> sources of where they're, the companies from which the, the, the samples come that they have to test. And that, those are basic, very basic rules. And they are violated right and left here. So I would be impressed if GP did something along those lines and, and um, acknowledged the faulty testing systems that we have in this country and where laws and regulations are actually being formulated by the companies that need to make the money through the process that, they're, that is being regulated. There is there's too much corruption in this, and it's time that we all tried to change that system. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Good job, Maria.